All right, so I want us to take this system. I want you to convert it to a matrix and find the reduced row echelon form, which will give you the solutions. So I want to edit A, so <laughs> it's a... <coughs> yeah, puberty will get you. It's a 2 by 3. My coefficients are 5, negative 7, and 22. My other coefficients are 7, 6, and 5. So if I quit out of this, and I go back to my matrix, I want to find the reduced row echelon form of A. And I get some nastiness here. Do you all agree? Well, you know what you can do here, right? Math. Convert it to a fraction. Do you have to go back to select it again? Or nope. Now, you may not see it look exactly like this, depending on the type of display you have. So if you've got your classic display. Uh, 60s retro. Yes, your 60s, whatever. Convert this guy to a fraction. You, you, stu you still have the same thing. 167 over 69. 79. Oops, 79, excuse me. And the other fraction is negative 129. Uh, is it going to automatically find a common denominator between the two and always present it that way? or It takes this decimal and it converts it to a fraction. Say again? How it takes whatever this decimal representation is and it converts right, it to... What if that had been 129.78, would it... Uh, because both the denominators are the same. That's, all That's what you're going to see a lot of times when you get really crazy fractions mm -hmm. for your answers. They will either one have the exact same denominator or one will be the multiple of another one. So like one could be over 179 and the other one would be over say 138, okay. which is but double that. But it's not defaulting to always give it to you no. in, the, in the common denominator between the two. No, but you oftentimes will but see it that. it is in its lowest form as a fraction. Yeah. Okay. Now we can go crazy with some of these problems and I could ask you to do this. If I ask you to find the solution for x over 4 plus 3y over 5 is equal to negative 2, and then negative 2x over 3 plus y over 8 is equal to 3. I could give that to you on a test and I could expect you to solve this by hand. Is it going to be pretty? No, because there's some clearing of fractions that would need to be done in both of these guys. But since I'm showing you an easier way to do this, what are you going to do? Go to the calculator. Oops. So we need to edit this guy. It's a 2 by 3. What are the coefficients? One fourth. So 1 fourth. It's going to convert it to a decimal, don't worry. Three fifths. Three fifths, and negative two. I've got negative two thirds, one eighth, and three. Is everybody with me? Whoops, sorry about that. Is everybody with me on how I typed all this in? This is one fourth, that's three fifths, and that's negative two. This is negative two thirds, one eighth, and three. So this guy as a matrix, let me just write this again for you. One fourth, three fifths, negative two, negative two thirds, one eighth, and three. Okay. Quit out of this guy. And then do your reduced row echelon form of matrix A. <coughs> I get some nastiness, right? That's nasty. However, math, convert to a fraction, and there we go. Now, this kind of goes back to what I was telling you before. Notice how 69 and 207, well, 207 is a multiple of 69. 69 times 3 is 207. 
And so you find out that your solution for this system is negative 328 over 69 and negative 280 over 207.